try and pull your wits together and tell me how to get to Brooklyn because you know and you're going to tell me because there's no one else around here who can tell me and I'm cold and I'm wet and I'm very angry. So I'm sorry, you're psychotic, but just <laughs> make the effort. Take a deep breath. Do it. Good. Now exhale. Good. Now how do I get to Brooklyn? Welcome back, I'm Jade Harrell, and my guests today are Hana Sharif, the new artistic director of the Repertory Theater of St. Louis, and actress Meredith Baxter, who is starring in Angels in America, playing now at The Rep. I'm so glad you both are here. We just watched a clip. Tell us what's happening in that clip. What, I'm gonna come back to you. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you're doing there, because you had oh. my heart, I was holding my breath as you were talking to that young lady. You were. I was. Excellent. <laughs> that's what you want to happen when yeah. you said we sync up. What's happening there, and how did you approach all oh, of this? Well, that's uh, that's the a main character that I play, Hannah, and uh, I'm berating poor Gina Daniels yeah. in this, um, who is, plays a homeless woman. Um, Hannah is on her way to Brooklyn, trying to get to Brooklyn because the last she heard, her son has, has called her and told her when she was living in Salt Lake that he thinks he's homosexual. Okay. Well as a Mormon mother, she just doesn't know how to handle that. And what's interesting is it's in her despair and anger and, and anxiety to get there, she's trying to get directions from this poor woman. Yeah. Um, what I love is that mm -hmm. we learn so much uh, about what humans can do and what, what their possibilities are and what they can't handle. Like Hannah cannot handle her son's homosexuality. Yeah. Yeah. However, she does attach herself to Pryor who is, you know, has AIDS and is suffering deeply, yeah. and she can have compassion there. She can have some understanding there. She couldn't do it for her son, yeah. but her redemption comes in being able to open her arms to it anyway. Absolutely. So it's, it's change Ooh. and forgiveness and compassion. It just radiates yeah. throughout the yeah. play. That's, that's what makes your, it a that's classic. That's heart, exactly. And what's powerful is that you've experienced much of this yourself and have been very outspoken about having compassion for one another. So it's powerful to see that. I think that maybe that's why I was so moved, because you could see and feel that in your performance there. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. You read far more than I thought about it. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> um, but Hannah, for you, then when you see this and it's, and it's unfolding um, and the messages that are coming forth, I mean, this is getting um, rave reviews from London to, uh, to New York, like mm -hmm. to Broadway in New York. What, what does that mean for you to have, be able to revive that here and see it manifest in this way? It's an extraordinary production, primarily because of the work of the creative team and the cast. And what I hope to do with all of the work that we do at the yeah. Rep, and I feel like this is such a testament to it, is to create work that challenges us, That's that right. forces us to ask deep, meaningful questions about ourselves and our lives, and that introduces us to the humanity of others and elevates our own sense of yes. humanity in ourselves. And I feel every day when I sit in that theater and watch this amazing cast do this work, I feel one so blessed that this is what I get to do for a living. Yeah. I get to make art that really does reach into the deepest part of us to remind us of our own humanity. And that feels incredibly important, especially when we get into tough political times yeah. to have that opportunity and that ability. And then the other part of it is that we use the art to create partnerships and collaborations around the city that allow us to bring more folks in to see the art, but also to have those, th to talk about how those themes of the plays practically apply and fit the reality of our lives. Yeah. So one of those partnerships we have, um, we're going to be working with Dr. Mahdi, who's a doctor at Wash U in the infectious disease um, area, and she's going to be doing a presentation called U Equals U yeah. that talks about what it means to have HIV and AIDS in the 21st century yeah. and to educate all of us uh, about oh, that. Fantastic. And it felt really important and critical in this moment where there's a whole generation that's never been able to have the experience of seeing that play, this play. Right. Uh, and we're, we're bringing this play forward and then also being able to partner with really important um, uh, partners throughout the city Absolutely. who are doing the work on the ground. The relevant helping. right now work that Absolutely. is happening, you know, and to be able to bring the arts to that is just so very powerful. Uh, make sure you check out Angels in America playing now until October 6th at the Repertory Theater of St. Louis. For tickets, showtimes, and more information about the Repertory Theater of St. Louis, call the box office at 314-968-4925 or the office at 314-968-7340.
or you can visit them at therepstl.org. The There's more STL Live after this, so stay with us.